In this video, I want to answer that very important question. Is there such thing as a cheap diamond ring? Well, the first thing to consider when you're buying a diamond ring is how much of a profit is the person that's selling to you making out of the diamond? You think everybody sells at the same margin? Well, in an industry where there is so many differences in grades, a lot of people wrap up their diamonds with all sorts of fancy words and phrases, and, and all of a sudden somebody could be making huge profit out of the diamonds. I remember a statistic some time back that said the average diamond retailer was marking up, increasing his price four and a half times the price that they actually sold it. And certainly before I started selling diamonds, when I bought my wife's engagement ring 13 years ago, the lady in the shop said, Steve, you come in regularly here, how about I give you a 50% discount? And I was happy. I used to send her flowers for about four or five years, thanking her for that massive, massive discount. Little did I know at the time that that 50% discount still re represented a very high price indeed for the diamond. So first of all, you want to find a retailer, a partner that you know is working on a small uh, a price and a small margin. The next thing is everything comes at a price. There are diamonds that come out of the ground that are worth next to nothing. In fact, when we take low-grade diamonds out of the ground, what we do is we grind them up into a paste and we use that paste to cut good quality diamonds. So diamonds can cost as little as one pound a carat if they're really, really ugly, all the way through to tens and hundreds of thousands, even millions of pounds per carat if they're the top top, top quality. So the key thing is to work out where your budget is. You can get today a cluster of reasonably nice diamonds that are well faceted for, the, for I don't know, 150 to 200 pounds. But you can also get a diamond ring for 50 or 60 pounds, but then they've not been cut. They literally have got the rough bit of diamond, maybe put a table facet on it, put it in a bit of base metal and away you go. So the key thing is when you get the diamond, move it around. Is it playing with light? Is it reflecting light? Can you see that the facets have been done properly? And if they have, then and you're, as long as you're happy with it, then go ahead and buy the diamond. So there are deals out there and there are price points to suit everybody. But the key thing with diamonds is to always make sure that it is beautiful. Just saying it's one carat of diamond means nothing. I can give you one carat diamond tomorrow for three or four pounds, but it has no beauty at all. I wouldn't even gravel my drive with some of these pieces. 